Hey guys, I'd like to show you the new upgrade kit for a Superflow Dino from yourdino.com. It reuses the original uh, valve from Superflow, uh, but includes a new stepper motor. And this is a stepper motor with uh, position feedback, so it never loses uh, the position. It has a 3 meter cable included, so uh, this uh, valve can sit far away from the electronics. The stepper controller is this one, and that is also included. You use your own 12, uh, 24 volts power supply, but it's a small little thing like this. Uh, you have the uh, your dyno instrument unit included. Uh, there are instructions on how to reuse the load cell from uh, Superflow that is uh, directly compatible. You just hook it up to the your dyno unit. And then it includes this small converter unit for the RPM sensor such that you can use uh, the original Superflow RPM sensor. Just hook it up uh, over here. Okay, so we have wired everything up. Um, of course, uh, the kit includes uh, instructions on, on how to do this. It's, it's simple stuff. You just uh, hook it up uh, per the instructions. And then we can see uh, here that we have configured the brake. And uh, we can uh, see that it uh, moves uh, back and forth when we do the test here. And uh, I'll show you. really fast. All right, time to put the system to test. Here is the dyno room that we have uh, upgraded. I'll show you a couple of pictures and then we'll do a few test runs. Here is the water valve over here sitting on the bottom of the brake as before with the stepper motor uh, connected here. Uh, you see we made a small cut out here on this, this bar here. Of course, if you like, you could turn this uh, valve uh, 90 degrees and avoid that, but we wanted it like this. Uh, here is the load cell, that's just the same as before, same position as before, the only thing that has changed is, is the wiring. And here is the electronics box, it includes the Yordino box, the Yordino unit, and the stepper controller, and a 24 volts power supply. And this is really all the electronics you need to, uh, to run the system. Now, here is a close-up of the, the Yordino box with the wiring coming out here. Okay, let's do a few test runs. So to make the upgrade easy, we include an uh, options file that uh, sets all the settings in the Yordino software to, to fit with the Superflow setup. So that's uh, make, it, make it easy. Uh, what you do is you go to options and then restore options from file and then you read that file uh, and then all the settings in the software here are then set by this file. So for example, it sets uh, the brake controller setup. So these are all the parameters you need for the stepper motor, so you don't need to mess with that. That's practical. It also sets another, uh, so, uh, some other uh, basic things like uh, number of load cells, etc. These are pretty straightforward, but all, all good to have them uh, correct uh, from the beginning. Okay, the other important thing that it sets up is the, the brake setup. Uh, that's where you define the sweep, for example. Let me show you here. That's here in the brake setup. So if you go to load control, this is a special water brake control uh, that, that we use. And here you can set uh, the start uh, brake RPM. Uh, that's where you find it. That's where the sweep starts. And 
where the sweep ends, the sweep rate, for example. All this can be set to your liking, of course, but uh, there is a, a default gain and, and regulator speed and things like this, which is good to, to have a starting point that you know works reasonably well for a, a super flow. And then you'll have to adjust them a little bit based on the kind of engine you have and the size of your brake and all that, but this is a good starting point. So it's, it's easy to get going. Okay, so all you need to upgrade your Superflow to a modern instrumentation is here in this uh, convenient kit. Thank you.